What's up, everybody? I am here with the bin for a friend that I set up. And guess what happened? The friend never came to get it. So now it looks like I have yet another worm bin. Oh, well. So let's see how it's going. It's a little bit dry. It's been sitting uncovered in my garage. And it actually set out in my garage throughout all the cold temperatures. And by cold, I mean like cold, polar vortex cold. Not like y'all got up north, but cold for Louisiana, that's for damn sure. So I'd fed it with some apples up there in that whole corner. And it stayed warm. And apples, as we know, stay in the system forever. So there's worms in here, and I bet you they're all up in these apples. Yep, there they are. Oh, look at them. That's a big, healthy European nightcrawler right there. So this is kind of cool. It's actual run of bin system. Apparently it has some banana in it too. Oh no, that's all apple. Wow. So they're doing a number on that apple, finally. So I thought I was going to feed these guys, but apparently I'm not because they're actually getting through that apple now. There's a bunch of worms in there. I started this bin with just some breeders and threw them in here. And they've been going, as you can see, they've got some babies. So there's, obviously this is working pretty well. All right. So I don't think I'm gonna feed them, but I am gonna go ahead and fluff everything up. Keep my food on that side of the bed. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this, I got a little mushed up banana I put in there with them. But I do wanna aerate everything. Um, it's been sitting in my garage with the lid off because I didn't want worms escaping. Another big old healthy worm. Put him back in here. So it's a little bit dry on top. The bottom is more moist. I mean, it's not wet at all. If I really squeezed it, I could get some moisture out of it. And surprisingly, the worms, these big European night crawlers are all through it. Huh. Interesting. I expected them to all be curled around those apples over there. But they're not. They seem to be everywhere. Yep, even down here in this corner where there is no food at all. There are worms. Interesting. So, since I'm apparently going to be keeping this system myself, um, which is not a big deal, I'll just run it. Like it's my own, since it is my own. I'm going to use a lot more shredded newspaper and shredded cardboard in here than what it's got now. I just set this up with what I had available. There was three big old, four big old worms down in that opposite corner from the food. Big old healthy breeder worms. Obviously, these European night crawlers are pretty cold hardy. They did well in that cold snap. Um, so this will be interesting to see how, I think it was 25 breeders. I'm not even, I don't even really remember. Can populate this bin, how quick they can and, and turn this into compost. But this is really the first bin system that I've ran. So it'll be interesting for me to learn and observe and see how it goes. It'll be a good experience and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, but yeah, all I did food wise was I put a little bit of old frozen banana in there along that pile of apples. Hopefully they will eat through it this week and I will add these guys to the regular feeding next week since apparently it's a worm bin that I'm keeping forever. All right, guys, have a good night.